Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm still getting used to and comfortable with my Instapot. So today, we're doing Instapot Pinto Beans. And I want you to stick around for it. Don't go anywhere. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the ocean Okay, so yesterday, in yesterday's video, I mentioned a jewelry unboxing and so forth, and I thought I had added the clip in that explained why I didn't show the jewelry unboxing. So, if you're interested in why I didn't show the jewelry unboxing, stay tuned to the end. I'll add that clip in. I'm not sure if it got added in or deleted or whatever, but I will add that clip in to the end of this video. So now on to those delicious pinto beans. Okay guys, I have the Instapot out. I have my beans in it, my pinto beans. They are beautiful pinto beans. They were bought at a country store. I have some that I bought at uh, Walmart the other day, but these that I'm using, I'm finishing up using the ones I bought at a country store. I just think they're fun because you get to scoop them out and I don't know. I just like them, but anyway, so here we are in the Instapot, I'm trying to get this where you can see. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it with water. I may have to get more water than this. Oh, that's pretty good. I did not soak my beans. Um, I'm gonna put just a little bit more water. Hold on just a second. Okay, so the water is in there. Let me show you what I'm going to go in with now. This is a Nor Bouillon cube. You can use um, chicken base. You can use beef base. Whatever you want to use is fine. It just gives it a little extra seasoning. Um, I'm going to add in um, some salt pork. This is country ham pieces or chunk. And I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this. Let me get it open and I will be right back. Judah's wanting to wave and say hello. See his little hand over here? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is about all I'm gonna stick in there. Just two chunks in there. And where did my bacon grease go? I'm just gonna add, you could add in oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever. I'm just gonna add in a little bacon grease. All right, I'm just gonna add in just a little bit of salt because we've got the salt pork in there and the bacon grease has some salt, so not much salt, and the bouillon has salt, so not much. One more thing I'm gonna add, this is totally only because I had it sitting out and I saw it. Not because I normally add this, I just thought, hmm, that sounds like it would be good. Some minced onion, just a little bit, just to kind of give it a little, hmm, what's that? So we're not going in with much. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on this. Remember, I did not soak my beans or anything. All right, I've got it set to seal. Let me bring you over here and show you how I'm going to set it up. Okay, everybody, I'm going to turn it to manual. I'm going to up the time. I'm going to go to 45 minutes. Remember, I like a thick juice, so we're going to go to 45 minutes. Wait for the beep. There we go. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we'll be okay. I was looking to see if it had a bean 
it doesn't have a bean option. So we're just gonna go with manual for 45 minutes. It takes it a while to come to pressure. Once it comes to pressure, then the 45 minutes will um, go down. And then we'll look and see if the broth is how I like it. Um, we'll bring you back in just a minute. Well, it'll be at least 45 minutes for me, but more. Um, but it'll only be a second for you guys. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to show you that it has slow release on its own. And... I will open it up and we'll see what we have. Be sure when you open your Instapot that you always kind of open it away from you so the steam doesn't come out and get your arm. All right, so we're going to see what kind of juice we have. Let me grab a ladle here. Oh, I believe they need to cook some more, guys. Maybe not. Um... I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. Oops, I'm not showing y'all. <laughs> Sorry. I want the juice a little thicker than that. So there is this saute button. So I think we're going to turn it on saute. And we're going to let it saute for a little while. Judah is hitting the doorbell. All right, so we're going to let it cook down just a little bit. Now, you could either cook it in this like that or move it over to the stove top. Okay, everyone. Let me get the camera turned around. Sorry you're seeing my mess behind me. You can see I've got the saute on and it is boiling. And so we're just going to cook it down just a little bit just because I like a really thick broth. But I thought let's go ahead and taste the pintos and see if they're cooked well and um, try them. Okay, it is just boiling away and that's just perfect. I don't even have to move it out of the Instapot. That's what I wanted it to do. I didn't know that that saute button would make it boil, but it is. And um, so I'm just going to let that juice get thicker and thicker. And so let's try them and just see if they're done. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Those are absolutely perfect. I am going to add a little bit more salt. I think it needs a little bit more salt. And that's the good thing about tasting it now. All right. And y'all, that juice is already... That all juice is already getting thick. And it's only been sauteing, what, just a few minutes. Now, you see my crock pot over here, and you're thinking, what you got going in your crock pot? Well, what we're having with these pintos is, um, oh my goodness, I cannot believe how to tell you this juice just thickened up, like, like immediately. It is thick. Uh, let me show you. This is a pork roast. So we've got a pork roast going in here and I'll see, I started filming the pork roast and was going to film just like a what was for supper, but then I decided just to focus on the pintos, but I'll go ahead and add that clip at the end of this video um, after my jewelry explanation. Here, I want to show you this juice, how it thickened up just immediately. getting a few beans in here but that's okay look at that and that's just been within the last few minutes because it was still pretty clear not clear but it was was not like gravy. I think this looks more like gravy <laughs> than oh man that is beautiful okay and and I'm only sauteed for just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna actually cut it off. I mean, it has not even sauteed five minutes. Not even. Um, so maybe that's what you just need to do. Open it up, turn it on saute, just to get that thick, good juice. Um, okay, so I did 45 minutes on pressure and I let it slow release on its own. 
and then saute for less than five minutes and I'm gonna cut it off. I am going to figure out how to cut it off. <laughs> Well, cancel maybe? Cancel, that helps. Anyway, this is delicious though. I can't wait um, to like really try it. I'm gonna let it calm down boiling and then we'll give them a try juice and all in just a minute. And so right now, let me just show you how I put my pork roast on. We won't do a taste test and all that. I just thought I'd share that with you at the end. Anyway, so, and if I if I say I haven't fixed the pintos or we're fixing to do the pintos, just ignore that because I filmed it earlier this morning. And um, after we do the taste test of the pintos, I don't know if what, I don't know what clip is coming first or last. The jewelry, the jewelry is probably going to be last. So stay tuned. I'll explain why I am not doing the jewelry unboxing at the end. And I did mean to put that clip in yesterday's video. And I haven't actually gone through and looked to see if it's in there. But uh, I just thought I'd add it again because I did get some questions about it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay. I can't take it another minute. We've got to try these pintos. Because, y'all, I can't eat many of them because they're they're not on my diet. So, I'm going to taste what I can before the guys get here. <laughs> Actually, they don't care. I'm just playing. You know how when you're not, when you don't do something you, you're supposed to do or you do something you're not supposed to do, you don't want anybody to see it. <laughs> Even if they don't care, you don't want anybody to see it. So, look at that. Look at those pintos. Look at that thick, thick juice. See, that's what I, I don't like pintos with water juice. I like it with thick juice. So let's give this a try. Oh my. That is so good. Pretty good. The Instapot has is winning me over dish after dish after dish. Well, really, I haven't done anything except um, what did I do? I did boiled eggs. I think that's about the only thing I've done. But now, um, I did just then, just in that bite, I did get one. Like, most of them are mushy firm. I mean, mushy firm. Mushy soft. But I did just get one that had, like, a firmness to it. That's the only one I've gotten. So, maybe that was, like, a old bean or something. Okay. Mm. We got another one. Well, I guess it could be my beans because I've had those beans a while. But y'all, I think it's doggone perfect. So I'm gonna put the lid on it just in case there's some that maybe were on top of the water. Like I think this one. Yeah, it's these dark colored ones. So I don't know if they were out of the water. See this dark colored one? But I've had those beans for a really, really, like since my blue kitchen days. It's just those really dark colored ones. Everything else is just super soft and wonderful. Yeah. That's odd. So, be sure you make sure you have them covered with water. I have a feeling some of them were out of the water. But, because I, when I first opened it up, it looked like some were not completely submerged. So, I think that's what it is. So, maybe add more water than what I did. But these are delicious. Delicious. For the most part, they're all soft. I mean, not like, like mushy 
but like they hold their shape, but then when you bite into them, they just smush right away. And that to me, that's the way a pinto should do. So, all right, let me show you how I got my pork roast ready. And then I'll share with you the clip of the jewelry or my explanation on the jewelry. So stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I have a pork roast here. Now there is a fat side to it and I want it to be on top, but first I want to season it. I'm gonna season it really good with pepper. I need to fill up my salt container. I know that looked like a lot of salt, but this is a fairly big pork roast and it's thick and so it needs to penetrate. So, and I'm going to flip it over and season the other side. I did sprinkle on a little garlic powder. So we're just going to flip that over. Let me wash my hands before I work with the salt and pepper. And I filled up my salt container after I wash my hands so salt and I'm gonna use a lot of pepper now the reason I have the fat side on top is because as that melts and and drips I want it to drip down in the meat to make the meat moist for flavor so I like it on top so it kind of melts down through the meat and it's not just sitting on the bottom I mean, it would be fine either way. That's just why I put the fat on top. I don't know if anybody else does that, but... That's, and I'm going to heavily pepper this side. I like a lot of pepper on my pork roast. So, okay, we'll go in with a little bit of garlic powder. Not much. All right, so I've got an onion here. Now, I used to do... I used to add gravy to my pork roast and lots of water and my family I mean they liked it and everything but they prefer it just this simple um, just doing a simple 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 so salt pepper I don't even need the garlic powder I just added that because I saw it in the cabinet and um, onion that is it and you can definitely season it with anything else you like. If you, I mean, you know, if you've got a good seasoning, then by all means, you go right ahead. Okay, let me grab some water. I'm going to add just a little bit of water, and we'll be right back. I'm just going to add, that was probably a cup of water maybe a cup and a half it's going down it's getting under the <laughs> the pork roast now all right we're gonna stop there that was probably right at cup and a half to two cups of water and we're gonna turn it on low and slow and get this baby going and all right I'll see you back for the pintos now to my jewelry explanation Okay guys, two things. I then, I forgot to show you something. And so let me show that to you now. This came in the post office and my heart. It is Lori from Whippoorwill's Holler. It is her cookbook. I was so excited to get that. Um, she signed it. Um, we've done some collabs together before. Um, but she, this was sent to me by Barbara Williams. Barbara ordered it and had it sent to me. And Barbara, thank you so much. Lori, thank you as well. I appreciate you guys so much. I am so excited to get into this cookbook. I mean, I cannot wait. Um, Lori and I cook a lot alike. Um, so I, I'm just excited. And it's got the pressure on for me to finish my cookbook. So... Hmm, finding the time. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. So hold on just one second. I got one more thing to share with you. Okay, so I did mention the jewelry uh, box. 
I've decided not to share that with you. It was wonderful. I loved it. Um, the, I wanted to keep everything in it, but I just decided to pack that box up, send it back and stop the subscription. Um, right now, I don't know. I'm assuming it's everywhere, but here prices of gas, prices of food, prices of clothing, eating out, everything is like skyrocketing. Prices are terrible. And to me, jewelry, even if it's costume type jewelry, it's a luxury. I don't need it. I don't have to have it. It's not even something that I've never been a real big jewelry person. I like the basics, but, um, so anyway, that to me was a luxury. I am in need of clothes because of my weight loss. So that to me is more important. So what I did was I canceled everything. I sent it back. And since I decided to do that, I've also just decided not to share that box with you. But if you're into jewelry, go check out Rocks, Rocks Box. It's a great um, company and uh, the way they do things is amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. So we're going to do the grocery haul and then I'll share with you my glasses, I think. I think my glasses are going to be on here. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining us and joining with me as I take my Instapot journey and learning. Uh, I have learned that it makes delicious pintos. Just maybe add a little bit more water and be sure they're, com I mean, they were completely covered initially, but I'm sure as they puffed up and swelled up that maybe some of them pushed others out of the water. So, um, yeah, be sure you put your, um, be sure you put enough water. Other than that, they are delicious. And if you need to get that thicker broth, just take the lid off, hit the saute button, or take the pot and put it in another pot and just boil it for just a minute on the stovetop. But no need to do that when you've got that saute button. So, okay. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you were here. I hope you understand my predicament about the jewelry. I just decided since I was not going to continue on getting the boxes that I wasn't really going to share with it. And I just decided not to keep any of that jewelry. And um, But I do believe in that company. I think it is an absolutely wonderful company. And like they, like as soon as you mail it back, they're fixing you another box. And it's a, a, a great company. So if you're into jewelry, check out Rocks Box. It's awesome, wonderful. You get to pick things you like, and hopefully they send you things that you've picked. So um, definitely check it out. But for me, it was just a luxury, not a need. And with the way prices are going with gas and food, I just couldn't do it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't done so, I'd love for you to hit subscribe and be a part of our family. You become late family because you leave comments. I talk to you. I read your comments. And um, so I appreciate it more than you know. Share my videos. Ask your friends and family to subscribe. Once we get to 100,000, we got a big giveaway coming. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.